Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm playing a game called Grip. Now, it's currently $15.99 on Steam. And what drew me into this game was how similar it is to Roll Cage. If you've ever played Roll Cage on the original PlayStation, then you'll know how awesome a game it was. And Roll Cage Stage 2, just as awesome. In fact, more so. Out combination of the driving dynamics, the battle dynamics, and I've left it too long now, the demo's going. Um, it, it's just a very enjoyable game. It was. It really, really was. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's exit that demo for a moment there, because you, you don't want to see a computer racing, you want to see me racing. Anyway, uh, the weapons, the cars, it's just everything it was just about it was such really, really, really good. F lots of fun to be had. And maybe it's just me wanting to relive my childhood, but this game really appeals to me. So let's get right into it. Let's go races. Uh, Dominator Dreadnought. Huh. Looks like just two different types of cars. And different colors. I don't. Nothing there says that it changes the driving dynamics at all. Let's go green dominator. Now, what track? Difficulty normal. Yeah, let's go normal because I'm still a newbie at this game. Outpost, whirly work in progress. Yuri, industrial, hard. Uh, nah. Maybe when I get good, but not now. Uh, FCC outpost. Transport. Uh, let's do transport. Yeah. Yeah, transport. Race. Okay. So I did have a chance to play around with the settings before. I've turned off automatic uh, catch up, or is it catch up assistant? Anyway, that thing that uh, helps you cheat a little bit to get back into uh, first place. I turned that off. And I've turned on vehicle damage. Rock and roll. Um. Oh man, this is so good. Oh, I clipped that thing, whatever it was. Oh, the soundtrack kicks ass. Everything about this game is awesome. I've collected a chain gun, or a minigun, whatever you want to call it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, the ejecting brass and the sound effects for the minigun are so awesome. Now, one of the uh, things that Roll Cage did was it lets you drive on the ceiling of tunnels and stuff. Uh, that's my butt shield. I'm calling that my butt shield, and I drove it to a rock. The butt shield can't help me now. Uh, oh, missile lock. Got a missile lock. Did I get it? Whoa, that was close. Corkscrew. <laughs> oh man, this is so fun. Oh, a mine. I only... Well, that was just one mine. Oh, okay. I mean, this game you only get one mine. Um, in Roll Cage, I think you got five. And the best part was, is um, it let them all out in a whole string. So it was just drop, 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 drop. And you can strafe the track, so there's really no way of avoiding them. This is so cool. The sound effects are spot on. The lighting effects are spot on. Oh, ouch. Am I on fire? I am on fire. Oh, I died. Okay. I didn't see a damage indicator anywhere on the screen. That's kind of unfair. How, how are you meant to know? How are you meant to know when, when your vehicle is about to, you know, explode permanently? Um... Huh. Okay. 
Uh, damage turned on is kind of brutal. Let's do it again, because I'm more familiar with the track of the car now and the controls. So, let's see how we go. Broom, broom. Out of my way. I'm mine. Yeah, I'm in first place, so I'm gonna drop that bitch. Tell you what, it gives your reflexes a test. I'd say having the motion blur on the stock... I'm just going to hit my chain gun. Having motion blur set to the stock, I think it's medium at the moment, um, is good. You wouldn't want it any more than this, or it, it wouldn't really be watchable or playable. Oh yeah, those are speed pads, okay. Got speed pads on the road. Got a butt shield. Alright, is it... How long does the butt shield last, I wonder? Until I'm hit by something, or... Is it timed? I don't think it's timed. I think it's just there permanently until you get hit by something. The sound effect from the thrusters is fantastic. Incoming missile. I need a butt shield. I need a butt shield. I need a butt shield. No, I don't need a speed boost, I need a butt shield. As awesome as the thrusters sound. Oh. Oh, I get it. Ah. So, when the screen starts, when, when the heads up display the HUD, when that starts to scramble and get all fizzy, or fizz out, that is your, uh, that's your damage indicator. Okay, let's try another track now, shall we? But first, uh, let's check the graphics. Uh, uh, for FYI, uh, the video card I have is a GTX 970. Uh, now, if you recall, that is the one with... Uh, it says 4 gig on the box, but it only has 3.5 gig of fast VRAM. But even still, everything's on high. Well, actually, everything's on epic. Motion blur medium. That's probably a good level to have it. Uh, we're doing full 1080. Uh, I do have three monitors set up. And I do have, normally I have NVIDIA uh, surround vision uh, turned on as well. But I've had to turn that off uh, for this game because there is no support for 5760 by 1080. Uh, kilometers per hour because metric. Yep. Metric. Uh, now, oh, oh, destructive environment. Now I'm looking in the full motion video in, in the background there. It looks like there's a destructive environment. How do I turn that on? How do I turn that on? I must have that turned on, or is it just a thing for the FMV? All right, guys, hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can turn that on. Okay. So, I've had a look around. Can't turn on destructible environment, unfortunately. But if they could update this game to have that, it would be perfect. Something else I noticed as well is you... Because I'm currently using the Xbox 360 controller uh, with the uh, PC dongle. For this game, it's pretty much perfect. Uh, I'm more of a PlayStation guy, to be honest. But Xbox, they do know how to make a good controller. Now, one thing that I would change... Custom button mapping. You, it, it comes with presets, and the problem with presets is I can never find one that I like. I have to use RT to accelerate, and RB to fire weapon number two, and it kind of gets a bit weird. So... I just hit start by mistake. I chose a snowy track here. The dust and particle effects are nice.
Sorry, got fat thumbs. There we go. Oh, the, the lighting effects are so good. But you can see the glare shining off the back of my car from the headlights from the car behind me. I'm coming in seventh at the moment and I don't care. This game is beautiful. I love the uh, visual effects it has around the edge of the screen to suggest that you're going very, very fast. And um, yeah, 475 kilometers an hour is pretty fast. I love the sound of the thrusters. Ah, uh, EMP. I'm currently in first, purely by accident. Uh-oh, missile incoming, missile incoming. I'm going to get rid of my shield and the mine. I need a butt shield. I need one right now. I need a butt shield now. Butt shield, activate! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, that was so close. Oh, Whew. Ah, okay. Still in first. If you've just tuned in, I'm not actually good at this game. This is the first time I've played it. Uh oh, that's bad. Oh, that's also bad. Okay. Back on our feet. I love the little flame bursts out of the exhaust when you change gears. Butt shield. Uh oh. This is bad. Up oh, someone. Uh, was that smoke from my car or from that smoke from my car? So they're almost dead. What I might do is actually turn vehicle damage off because it's kind of brutal with vehicle damage turned on. Because you, you get so into the race, you don't actually notice the heads up display flickering when, when your vehicle's about to die. See my, my heads up display is starting to flicker there, indicating my vehicle is close to death. And uh, thank you, Butt Shield, for protecting me from that chain gun. Am I up or down? Ah, oh, okay. I didn't know if I was on the roof or on the floor. This is such a well put together game. The only two things I would change would be the uh, custom controls. You need to get on top of that. Uh, I don't like presets. I want to be able to set my own buttons. I got hit by an EMP. Which was actually a good thing because it slowed me down for that bump in the road there. That would have sent me airborne. So, custom controls would be one thing. Destructible environment. That would be the other. And Okay, where am I now? Right. Okay. Alright, let's move. Bye bye rocket. I'm gonna shoot off the chain gun as well. Simply because I like the sh I like the ejected brass and the sound effects. Or I might save it. Now we're moving. See, with, with Roll Cage for the PlayStation, you didn't have to use your brakes all that often. In fact, there were several tracks where you didn't have to use your brakes at all. In this game, you kind of are coerced into using your brakes. Which is good, because it kind of keeps you on your toes. It's not just a flat-out acceleration game. As a speed pads, 
I'm on the floor, I think, because of the snow. From memory, snow doesn't fall up. I love the ejecting brass. I think I've gone on for long enough about this game. I'm going to stop recording. And I'm going to try and get good. But uh, I'm going to try and get good with vehicle damage. Ow. Yeah, my car's about to die. Uh, I'm going to try and get good with vehicle damage turned off. Because vehicle damage on is excessively brutal. <laughs> to be quite honest. It becomes less of uh, survival than most skill. And... More like survival of the most fortunate. Oh yeah, there's fire coming out of my car. Oh uh, look. The name of the game is Grip. It's available on Steam for $16.99 US... Uh, $15.99 US dollars. It's a barrel of laughs. This game is so fun. It really is. I can't speak it. I can't say enough good things about it. So, uh... I really hope I can uh, play against you guys. Oh, yeah, I'll survive till the end of the race. That's something. Anyway, I really have to go. This video's gone on for way too long. Guys, I'm Noobasaurus, logging off, and I really hope I'll be playing with you guys online sometime. See you later.